प्रेज भागवतम क्लास ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तत जय उदीर नष्ट प्राणीषु अभद्रेशु नित्यम भागवत सेवया भगवती उत्तम श्लोक भक्ति भवती नष्टिकी हरे कृष्णा टुडे वी कंटिन्यू श्रीमद भागवतम कैंट ऑफ फर्स्ट चैप्टर फोर द एपरेंस ऑफ नार श्री नारदा श्लोका नंबर ट्वेंटी टू टू ट्वेंटी फोर प्लीज रिसेट इन माइंड अथर्व अंगी रसाम आसित अथर्व अंगी रसाम आसित सुमंतु हु दारुण मुनि ही सुमंतु हु दारुणो मुनि ही इतिहास पुराण नाम इतिहास पुराण नाम पिता मेरो महर्षण पिता मेरो महर्षण शिष्य प्रशिष्य तत्शिष्येद ते अभवन ते शाखिन अभवन ते एव वेदा दुर्मेधे ते वेदा दुर्मेधे धार्यंते पुरुषही यथा धार्यंते पुरुषही यथा एवं चकार भगवान एवं चकार भगवान व्यास कृपण वत्सल व्यास कृपण वत्सल अथर्व अंगी रसाम आसित अथर्व अंगी रसाम आसित सुमंतु दारुण मुनि सुमंतु दारुण मुनि व्यास पुराण पिता मेरो महर्षण पिता महर्षण वेद व्यसन अनेकदा स्वम व्यसन अनेकदा शिष्य प्रशिष्य तत्शिष्य वेदा शिष्य व्यास कृपण वत्सल व्यास व्यासल प्लीज रिसेट प्रभु जी अथर्व अंगी रसामासित सुमंत दारुण मुनि इतिहास पुराण नाम पिता मेरो महर्षण ते एक ऋषय वेद स्वम स्वम व्यसन अनेकदा शिष्य प्रतिशिष प्रशिष्य तत्शिष्य वेदा ते शाखिन अभवन ते एव वेद दुर्मेध धार्यंते पुरुष ही यथा एवं चकार भगवान व्यास कृपण वत्सल श्रीधर प्रभु जी प्लीज रीड अधर्वांगी रसाम आसीद सुमन दूर दारुणो मुनि इतिहास पुराण पिता मेरो महर्षण 
आशीष प्रभु जी डॉक्टर कृपा गवनी माता जी थैंक यू प्रभु थैंक यू प्रभु जी अतर अतर सुमन दूर नो मुनि इतिहास अथर्वंगी रसम आसित सुमंतुर्दारु नो मुनि इतिहासा पुराणा पिता मे रोम हर्षण ते रस्यो वेदम स्वम स्वम व्यसन अनेकधा शिष्य प्रशिष्य तिष्य वेदस्ते साखिनो अभवन ते एवा वेदा दुर्मेधेर धार्यंते पुरुषे यथा एवं चकार भगवान व्यास कृपणवत् सलाह आशीष प्रभु जी मा तू म्यूट माता जी योर म्यूट अथर्व वांगी रासम असित सुमंतुर दारुण मुनि इतिहास पुराणा पिता मे रोम हर्षण तयतारसयो वेद रसय वेद स्वम स्वम व्यास व्यास अनेकदा अनेकदा वेदस्ते सखिनो भवन भवन शाखिन अभवन शाखिनुर्मेधे पुरुषे यथा एवं चकार भगवान व्यास कृपान वत्सल्य ट्रांसलेशन एंड परपट विद श्रीला प्रभुपाद जगत गुरु श्रीला प्रभुपाद की जय द सुमन तू मुणि अ सुमन तू मुणि अंगिरा हु वाज अ वेरी डिवोटेडली एंगेज वाज इंटरेस्टेड विद the atharva veda and my father romarshan was interested with the puranas and historical records all these learned scholars in their turn render their interested vedas into their many disciples grand disciples and great grand disciples and thus the respect to branches of the followers of the vedas came into being thus the great sage vasudeva who is very kind to the ignorant masses edited the vedas so they might be assimilated by less intellectual men a purport by the shila prabhupad prabhupad ki jai the in the shruti mantra also it is stated that angira muni who strictly followed the rigid principles of the atharva veda was the leader of the followers of the atharva veda the original source of knowledge is the vedas there are no branches of knowledge either mundane or transcendental which do not belong to the original text of the vedas they have simply been developed into different branches they were originally rendered by great respectable and learned professors in other words the vedic knowledge 
broken into different branches by difficult disciplic succession has been distributed all over the world no one therefore can claim independent knowledge beyond the vedas the veda is one and the reason for its division is in many parts are explained here with the seed of all knowledge or veda is not a subject matter which can easily be understood by any ordinary man there is a structure that no one should uh, try to learn the vedas who is not a qualified brahmana this structure has been wrongly interpreted in so many ways a class of men who claim brahmanical qualification simply by their birthright in the family of a brahmana claim that the study of the vedas is a monopoly of the brahmana caste only another section of the people take this as an injustice to members of other caste who do not happen to take birth in a brahmana family but both of them are misguided the vedas are subjects which had to be explained even to brahma ji by the supreme lord therefore the subject matter is understood by persons with exceptional qualities of goodness persons who are in the mode of passion and ignorance are unable to understand the subject matter of the vedas the ultimate goal of vedic knowledge is shri krishna the personality of godhead this personality is very rarely understood by those who are in the modes of passion and ignorance in the satya yuga everyone was situated in the mode of goodness gradually the mode of goodness declined during the treta and dwapar yugas and the general mass of people became corrupt in the present age the mode of goodness is almost nil and so for the general mass of people the kind hearted powerful sage shri vasudeva divided the vedas in various ways so that they may be practically followed by less intelligent person in the mode of passion and ignorance it is explained in the next next uh, shloka as follow om agyana timirandan se jana anjana shalakaya chakshur militam ena tasmay shri gurave nama shri chaitanya mano bishtam sthapitam ena bhutale swayam rupa kadamayam dadati svapadantikam vande aham shri guru ho श्रीयुतपदकमलम श्री गुरून वैष्णवांच श्रीरूप सागर जात सगण रघुनाथा तम सजीव सहाद्वैत सवदूत पिजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य कृष्ण पाद सगण ललिता श्री विशाखा नमो ओं विष्णु पादाय कृष्ण प्रेष्टाय भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सरस्वते देव गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात दिशतारिणे वाचा कल्पतरूभे चृपा सिंधुभ एव पतिताभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासादी गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे टुडे वी ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड श्लोक नंबर ट्वेंटी टू टू ट्वेंटी फोर हि आर इन इन दिस श्लोक द डिस्क्राइब अबाउट द वन वेद डिवाइडेड इन फोर वेद बिफोर ट्वेंटी वन श्लोक द गिवन हू इज द आचार्य ऑफ एवरी पार्ट Uh, they told us rubedas uh, acharya is pale samadeva jaimini uh, and here they uh, and uh, yajur veda vaisham pal and now today 22 shlokas they uh, describe atharva vedas uh, acharya is angira and purana itihasas uh, to be 
given to the raw merchant and what uh, what is the main uh, purpose for dividing uh, that described in shloka number 24 prabhu ji will tell us in detail hare krishna हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण सो वी हैव सीन दैट ग्रेट व्यासदेव जी बिकॉज ऑफ हिज trikal darshan he could see the eventual problems which are going to be there in kali yuga and so for our benefit he converted the vedas classified it into the four systems so that each of the deities as in the chaturvarna can be purified so he had created rigveda yajurveda samveda and atharva veda we have seen that pal rishi became the professor of rigveda jemini samveda vaishampayan yajurveda and today we understand in the shlokas that we studied today that atharva veda was assigned or entrusted with sumant muni angiraha so he was devotedly engaged And so he was interested with the Atharva Veda, and then we know the Pancham Vedas, which we saw yesterday. That is Puranas and historical records. So that was something which was assigned to Romharshan, who was father of Sud Goswami Ji, Ah uh, Shukde Sud Goswami Ji, who is now narrating this story in the assembly of thousands of rishis who have gathered in Nameshwaranya. In fact. Regarding Angidira Muni, it is stated even in Shruti Mantras that because he strictly followed the rigid principles of the Atharva Veda, that is how he became the leader of the followers of Atharva Veda. So all these learned scholars that we have seen, namely Pal Rishi, Jaimini, Vaishampayan, Sumant Muni, Romharshan. what they did is they entrusted the vedas in their turn into their many disciples grand disciples great grand disciples and so the respective branches of the followers of the vedas came into being if you all remember we had studied this in detail in 11th and 12th canto but the original source remains the vedas which was something which was given by shri krishna to brahma ji in his heart hriday adi kavaye if you all remember so the vedic knowledge which is broken into different branches by different disciplic successions has been distributed all over the world so no one can claim independent knowledge beyond the veda so vedas is the source of each and everything and there cannot be anything beyond vedas nor someone can say that it is me who has developed this because the original source remains krishna it is great vasudev ji who was very kind to ignorant masses like us that he edited the vedas so they could be assimilated to the less intellectual men because the seed of all knowledge which this veda is the subject matter is not so easy to be understood by ordinary persons so there used to be a rule or a structure that no one should try to learn vedas if he is not qualified brahmana but brahmana does not mean someone who has been born in the brahmana's family so it has to be not by lineage but by knowledge brahma janati iti brahmana so by lineage you may be born in a kshudra's family but you can still be a brahmana 
by lineage you can be born in a brahmana family but you may not be suitable enough to learn the vedas just look at brahma ji he was the first being to be created in this material world but even he could not understand this vedas and so he had to explain this by supreme lord krishna himself hence it is said that the vedas can be understood only by persons with exceptional qualities of goodness so the goodness or satogun can help us understand krishna but it is shuddha satogun which can help us get back to krishna so what to speak of those who are in mode of passion and ignorance they will never be able to understand the subject matter of vedas because subject matter of vedas is krishna and those in mode of passion and ignorance they are completely on material platform ignorant of the true transcendental pure self the ultimate goal of vedic knowledge is shri krishna the personality of godhead which can be understood only by those who are in the mode of goodness in satyuga everyone situ was situated in the mode of goodness so everyone could understand about this knowledge and it could be passed through shruti hi but gradually the mode of goodness is declined during treta dwapar yugs and people are becoming corrupt and in the present age the mode of goodness is almost nil so for general mass of people it is not possible to understand veda and it is with this understanding that powerful sage sri vasudev was very kind hearted he hated the vedas so they may be practically followed by less intelligent persons even those who are in the mode of goodness and uh, in the mode of ignorance and passion so we have to understand this that the vedic scriptures they are the spiritual literature of our ancient indian culture they are comprised of huge collection of so many books which includes all the knowledge even mundane material knowledge religious ritualistic knowledge as well as the spiritual knowledge and the word vedic that we generally speak it comes from the sanskrit word veda which means knowledge or revelation the knowledge existed multi million years ago but it was written down thousands of years ago by shri vyasdev the date actually is not very important because without a doubt the knowledge contained in this was existing long time before it was written down if someone wants to understand ved it means someone has to try to understand what is krishna the one who is able to do it achieves the ultimate objective the four vedas Rig, Yajur, Sam, and Athar. They carry the different what I'll say branches. Like Rig means ritual, and so it contains the hymns and prayers, mantras, in the worship of Krishna. Yajur means ceremony, and so it describes how to perform the rituals. Sam means singing. So this, the the Sam Veda scriptures, they are uh, containing many other mantras as well as strict rules. how to chant these mantras according to mystic vibrations athro means a priest who knows the secret law so these scriptures describe many different kinds of worship and invocations so this is how the whole thing even ayurveda that we talk about is part of the atharva veda so all of these teachings are supposed to encourage us to understand that we are not independent rather we are a part of the universal body depending on many many higher forces the most important lesson is that everyone has to accept the higher authority and if you can link up with that divine force of krishna to proper form and content 
then we will be able to get actual peace and harmony. And that is what we have been trying to achieve. Even Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam, even they are Vedic scriptures. They are also essential revelations. They directly describe the nature, energy and person of God. That is why He is the source of everything. The cause of all causes that is Sri Krishna. So Bhagavad Gita, God's song is word spoken by God. And Srimad Bhagavatam, divine revelation is the words about God spoken by representatives of God. So that is why Srimad Bhagavatam is the ripened fruit of all Vedic literature. And we have to study it, analyze it and imbibe it in our day-to-day -day activities. Then only we can get the real benefit, the real relish. As we see in these shlokas today, the objective is how it was to be made available to us. And Vasudevji has actually succeeded successfully in ensuring that this knowledge reaches all of us. All the knowledge. So, though there are so many different branches that we see today who try to prove that they are the best, but actually the original source remains the same. It is just the edited version which, we, uh, which have been created by Sri Vyasdevji and his disciples. So, we need to understand that they are not different, but they are the one and the ultimate objective of each one of them is to assist the living being to know about Krishna, to know about our relationship with Krishna and to know how we can actually achieve Krishna and get out of this entanglement of the material life. Because this material life is something which is keeping us engaged and bonded and keeping us away from the real happiness. So let us take to this process and thank our Guru Maharaj, thank Srila Prabhupada, thank Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Thakur and all the previous Acharyas in the Parampara that they have enabled us to understand this truth and be on the right path of going back home, back to Godhead.